welcome to the channel. I'm Summer. Today I'm going to be doing a blow dry tutorial on the butterfly DIY ponytail cut I did last video. I'm going to be using a blowout brush for this today to stay in the theme of doing it on yourself. A blowout brush is a much easier way to get that salon blow dry on your own at home. We're going to get lots of movement, lots of shape and keep it easy. With all that being said, let's get started. For this look today, I am going to be using just two products. Today for her, I'm going to be using L'Oreal Techniarch's Transformer Gel. I love this product because one, it's going to give both volume and hold, which is a great, especially if your hair has a hard time holding its style. So with this product, what you're gonna do is I like to use two to three balls of mousse. So you're just gonna shake the can a little, pump it in your hand. And as it comes out, it looks a little jelly and then it springs up into a foam. So you'll run your hands together. It gets like a gel consistency and then you're just gonna work that in the root area first and then work your way down the rest of the hair. And then I'll turn her to the back so you can see how I apply to the ends. So this is gonna be ball number two. Foam's up nice, run it through your hands and then work it through the ends, making sure to spread it everywhere. If you have naturally very straight hair, because with this butterfly, we want a lot of bounce and bend, make sure in these face framing layers, you really work the product in here so you help create that hold to get that swoop that we're eventually going to be creating. So the only downside to this product, I love it because it creates the hold and volume, is it does not offer heat protection. So for that, I'm just gonna use Olaplex number no. seven, their bonding oil. I like this because it's super lightweight. You do not need a lot of it at all. And all I'm gonna do is just add two dabs of that, very little, and I'm gonna work it starting at the ends first and then work my way up the rest of the head. Now, if you are somebody who struggles with frizz and you get more frizz on top, because with the oil, I like to avoid at the roots first. Once you've worked it through the ends and the mid region, I then will take what's left over of residue and then run my hands through the top section or along the hairline, wherever it is that you get that extra frizz. And that way you get a little bit more control, but it's not going to weigh your hair down. So once the products are in the hair, you're then going to want to comb everything through. And what this does is it helps to just spread the product through evenly everywhere. That way you're getting coverage all over your hair from root to tips. And now we will start our light rough dry. For your rough dry, you're going to want to use a concentrator nozzle. This is going to allow you to get control while rough drying your hair. The reason you might need to rough dry your hair is if it's too soaking wet, it's going to take you much longer to dry your hair with the blowout brush. The rough dry is going to allow you to get that excess moisture out of the hair to speed up your dry time. It can also help create volume at your roots. You can create volume by holding the hair straight up and directing that airflow from your concentrator nozzle directly onto your roots. If you feel you need to rough dry, spend no more than two minutes doing so. If the hair is too dry, you won't have as much control with your blowout brush to create the bend needed for this blow dry. Okay, so after you've done your rough dry, what we're gonna do now is section off the hair. You want to create multiple sections for your blow dry. What sectioning does is it allows you to get the most control when creating the shape. It helps to also dry the hair more evenly because the sections are smaller, you're able to get that heat through. And for your sections, what you're gonna do is just do several horseshoe partings, which just go along the whole round of the head. And you're gonna clip each of those up and out of the way. And typically I like to do anywhere from three to four sections, depending on how much hair you have. And you just start at the top and work your way down. Thank you. 
If you are unsure of how wide to make your sectioning, a good rule of thumb is to keep in mind how big your blow up brush. I'm using the T3 Airbrush Drew today. I like it because it is a round brush head, but you can do this too with your oval shape if you like that. You want the section of hair to match the width or circumference of your round brush. So as you can see here, this lines up very nice with the size of my brush. So I'm gonna be able to glide this through really well. And we're gonna take one final section down here and clip. All right, to show you guys a quick run through before I turn this on, when you are creating your blow dry with the butterfly, the whole point is you wanna see that bend and shape through the bottom. So what you, I like to do is I will first put my brush in, I'm gonna pull it out and I do this a couple of times just to start drying the section of hair and to build some tension. So do that two to three times. Then when you place in, what you're going to do is you're gonna start wrapping that hair and rolling it to the base of your scalp to start creating that round shape for that bend. And as you pull out, you're gonna to wanna to twist the dryer so that way you're keeping that round shape and you're just gonna repeat that. And as we move further up the head, I'll be giving you guys some tips on how to create the extra volume. But for starters, that's how we're gonna start off. When you are rolling the hair in the brush, I typically like to hold it there a few seconds before I let it out and work the dryer to dry the hair more. The most important thing when using a blow up brush is to make sure that each section is completely dry. It is vital that the hair is fully dry to help hold the bend in your ends. When you move into your next section of hair to dry, you only wanna let out the hair that you're going to be drying with your brush. You want to clip the other damp hair out of the way so it's not resting below on your dry hair. If you have the damp hair resting on your dry hair, it can alter the way that your hair holds that style you've created. So always make sure that you clip the hair out of the way and only let out the section of hair you are drying with your blowout brush. And you wanna to remember to repeat those same steps, pulling that dryer through the hair to create some tension, and then roll your brush to your head so you're creating that nice bend that you wanna see through those ends to show off your layers. As you can see here, we have got all this bend and shape. So as you're going to let the hair out of the brush, you can work it in different directions. Like this side, I let it out coming this way. And on the other side, I switch the direction. So you keep a nice movement and bounce to the haircut. So that's something to keep in mind. So we're now gonna move into higher up on the head. And this is when, if you are somebody who likes to create volume, you wanna really start making sure you're lifting the hair up higher to create more of that volume and shape because in this top section, that's where we like to see more of it. So again, I'm just taking the hair that I need one section at a time and clipping the rest of this hair out of the way so no damp hair is resting on my dry sections below. So when we're coming in here, we're going to lift straight up with it as much as possible. That's why I love these blow up brushes because you can really get more control to lift that hair straight up much easier because this is just one device you're holding rather than two separate ones. And you'll just repeat the same process. Another thing you can do to add more movement and bend to your hair with your blowout brush is to place your dryer on the top of your section. This is going to allow you to create movement in the hair. You just place it right on the top and you'd work through the same exact way as you would if it were on the other side of the hair where you roll it up, let that shape start creating that bend and you can just alternate both top and bottom of your section if you want to add maximum movement and bend to your hair. The other nice thing about this is that it also helps to dry your section faster because you're distributing that heat on both sides and it prevents one side from being overexposed to too much heat as well.
All right, so as we move into the pieces around the face, I like always rolling them back away from the face when I let it out of the brush. That's what I did, as you can see on this side, it's gliding away. We're gonna do the same thing, but as I'm drying it, I'm gonna be working it in towards the face more. And what this does is when you work the dryer, both sides of the head, so top and bottom, you get to create more bend through these ends and you're really working them side to side so you create that nice flowy feel. So while we're going to end with pulling the hair back away from the face, you still want to, when you're working this face frame, make sure to do some pieces rolling in towards your face to just help create more movement and texture in the hair. So we have got just two final sections to do here and I'm just going to be repeating my same steps as I've been doing. Remember when you want volume, you really need to make sure that you are lifting that hair up as much as possible to create the extra lift at your root. It really does make such a difference. Don't forget to roll that hair into the brush to create that nice bend through your layers. Another great tip for creating hold in both your volume and bend post blow dry is to use the cool shot on your blowout brush. The T3 has one button that you simply just press and you would just run your dryer through your hair to cool it down and that helps lock your volume and bend into place. Okay, so we are now working into the last final top section and I wanna remind you guys, as you are going through your blow dry, try not to touch this hair as much as possible. I know you're gonna hit it some when you're working through the hair, but try to let how the swoop falls just be left alone until you're fully done with your blow dry before you go to fluff it out. That way it can really set in that shape if you hit it, it's not the end of the world, but try to avoid these pieces as much as possible. That's why it's very important to clip the hair that you are not drying out of the way so you're not messing up what you've already dried. So this is a middle part. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take one section in this crown region and we're gonna be rolling this and drying it straight up, similar to how we've been doing and then after we get that dry, we'll come in and I'll show you how you wanna then work into your actual middle part to start creating the rest of your shape. So in this crown area, it is very, very important. You really work to lift straight up. If you wanna create max volume here, you can even over direct the hair forward. If you're comfortable, use this tip. I'm telling you, it's a lifesaver for when you're using it on your own at home to really get that control pulling it forward. Look at that body. Look at how much that got. That's probably a little extreme. You might not get that. Depending on your hair type, actually, you could. But that's the importance of really over-directing it and then setting it with the cool shot really does help make a difference. So because this is the middle part, we're gonna come in now and I like to dry it with the part. I just feel like with the bangs and stuff, you get more swoop control by drying the rest of the hair at this point along with your part line. So I like to start on one side first and then I'll work my way into the other. So obviously just reclip that hair that you're not drying. And then what we're gonna do, same as on these sides, you're gonna be pulling the hair forward to start getting that swoop. You wanna still lift and everything the same, but you're gonna be kind of coming more at almost like a diagonal. So you'll be coming across. So if this is on yourself, to try to show you guys more. Let me come in from this front angle because your hands would be sort of how I'm positioned now. You're gonna take the brush to the back of your hair, grab the snob on top, and you're gonna come almost forward and across. 
So you're creating sort of a diagonal here. You're not straight back on it. You can do that if you want, but I find that coming kind of over and across creates a little bit more height and it helps create more of that swoop. So practice it a few times without the heat on so you can get the movement of it, but over and across, rolling back towards the face, you're creating the lift here because you over-directed and you'll help really kick in that swoop. So when you're creating and drawing, drawing, I should say creating your final piece, you're going to do that same thing where you're over directing it across the face where you're rolling at an angle back. So that way you're really creating that bend and swoop. You can roll the hair down as well, but just remember those same patterns. So over and across rotating down, doing a mix of those, and then always as you go to let the hair out, you're gonna glide out. So now I am to my two final sections for our blow dry. And I do want to make note that when you are blow drying these top sections of hair, you really want to give it your all because this is the area that is most visible. So if you feel like you can't over direct the hair straight up in the lower sections, that's okay. But really try to focus on lifting straight up in your crown and top sections if you want to see max volume in your hair. And most importantly, be sure that you are rolling that hair into the brush to create that bend through your ends and throughout your layers to show off the movement. This is what makes all of that bounce in this blow dry by rolling it into the brush and rotating it to round out those ends. This is also why I prefer a rounded blowout brush because you do get a lot more bend throughout the hair, which is what you wanna see with this type of cut specifically. Right. Look at that swoop. It's so swoopy. So this is the best part of the butterfly haircut. When you blow dry it out like this, you get that nice, beautiful swoop. So what you want to do at this point, now that the hair is finally dried and you let it cool, you're going to now run your hands through it just ever so slightly. You want to make sure you have no more product residue on your hands no oil or anything like that and just kind of fluff around with it to see how you're liking it sometimes like i'll go back in when i've had a version of this cut i have really really straight hair so sometimes i'll like re-hit my bangs if i feel like they're not swooping enough but it came out so lovely so what i like to do i don't like to put actually a lot of product after the fact in this haircut, like it does really well on its own. I just like to set with some hairspray. I'll do an anti-humidity spray too, like Amika's The Shield, that way you're not having that frizz pop back up. And then I'll show you guys some nice spin shots and we'll get you guys out of here with my final thoughts. All right, here we have our beautiful butterfly bouncy blowout. I love the bend that this cut and blowout creates to the hair. The products I use to create this blow dry, I will leave linked below. Remember when drying, you really wanna roll your hair into your blowout brush to create maximum bend and movement. I suggest investing in a round shape blowout brush like this one from T3. If you like more movement in your hair, sections are key to help you get the most control in your hair and alternating the top and bottom of each section of the hair helps to create even more movement. If you love this cut, be sure to check out this DIY ponytail tutorial I did to create it. It is a super easy way to achieve this cut on your own at home and pair it with this fun blow dry. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.